A day after the Iran nuclear deal was announced, it seems a new diplomatic mood is setting in, one of cooperation. U.S. President Barack Obama called Russian President Vladimir Putin, thanked him for his role, and both expressed a desire to work with one another to again reduce global tensions. But while much of the world is praising the deal, Obama appeared on U.S. airwaves to defend it. CCTV's Roe Rutherford explains. A defiant U.S. president swung back at his critics on Wednesday. Barack Obama insisting an agreement with Iran makes the world safer. The bottom line is this. This nuclear deal meets the national security interests of the United States and our allies. It prevents the most serious threat, Iran obtaining a nuclear weapon, which would only make the other problems that Iran may cause even worse. It was a very different mood in Tehran, where Iran's top negotiator in Vienna, Javad Zarif, received a hero's welcome. The UN Security Council is going to approve a resolution next week and for the first time in its history will officially recognize the nuclear power of a developing country. This is a movement from one end to another. Around the world, leaders were already preparing for new economic opportunities the deal may bring if and when sanctions relief kicks in. Both the Iranian leaders and communities speak highly of the One Belt, One Road initiatives proposed by President Xi and want to actively participate in the construction of the Silk Road economic belt so as to inject new impetus and energy into the development of Iran. Meanwhile, Germany says its economy minister will travel to Tehran as soon as Sunday to explore boosting trade between the two countries. France's foreign minister said he would also visit Iran, though he did not specify when, and the U.S. president, when pressed, said he has no intention of going. Rui Ruttenberg, CCTV in Washington.